it's Mimi from HeyMimi.com, and I thought you might be interested in seeing some tools and tricks that I use to learn and practice doing hand lettering. I don't always like printing everything out on the computer, and I like to use this in my art journal, notebook, cards that I'm making, or just any time I want to label something in an interesting font. It's kind of fun to be able to, to do the lettering yourself without a computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you a few books that I've purchased, some free online resources for worksheets, uh, my own version of a worksheet, and then most of all, some videos that seemed really expensive at first, and I sidestepped purchasing them for quite a while. In the end, I found that I wish I had skipped all the books and trying to find stuff free online and just purchased these videos right from the start because they turned out to be the most valuable resource of anything that I tried, and they got me creating some truly satisfying hand lettering within hours of starting the class between each letter. So that's kind of cute. This I would say is a combination of Architect Simon Script and DK Carte Blanche. The other thing I like to do, take a font, write up just a practice sheet, like I'll go into to, um, Photoshop, choose that font, and then I'll just make write some a full page of text so here we are in Adobe Photoshop. You could use Adobe Elements. So let me show you what I did at first. You're just gonna go new, open a letter size, five by 11. You would just use these presets and come down here to US Paper, five by 11, okay. So there you have a new blank sheet. And when this prints out, you already know that it's the size of a regular sheet. What I did was I just typed out a bunch of text that I wanted to practice with. This is a font that I really like called Journal Hand, and it's similar to Draftsman or Architect typewriting. And I think I bought this one on myfonts.com for maybe $20 or something. And I use it all the time. I really like it. And it's a good one to practice with. So then once you get your all your, your text written, up, then you're going to come to this text layer and up here where it says opacity, bring the opacity down to about 25%. There's 25%. So when you print this up, it's going to be in this very light gray. You could even go lower because you don't want to practice writing. This is going to be a worksheet that you can write on top. You can write right on top of these letters to really get a good feel for how each letter is shaped. You can bring it to that. I think I liked about 25%. I'll do it 20%. 2%. Then after you type it up, don't forget to save and name it whatever the font is or even just font worksheet. And then you can come back in and change the font as you try something new. But then we're going to just go to print one copy and it's going to print a copy of that. And I'll show you on video what that looks like and how to use it. So that is one good way to make your own worksheet for learning a font. So here's what it looks like when it prints out. And you can see it's very light. I guess it could be a little lighter. So let's try this with a 0.2 pigment liner and see how that works. Okay, so that's pretty sloppy. I've noticed when I watch uh, really good hand lettering and even doodling go really, really slow. So they're very careful and they don't just crank that stuff out. They're very uh, methodical. I just feel like it gives you if you practice it over and over, kind of a feeling for how to space the letters. You just start to see the patterns in what you're doing. The uprights are very straight. You just get a feeling for how these letters are formed. This is just one way that helped me. Maybe it's a terrible way to teach, I don't know. This was, I just looked for worksheets online and I didn't find a whole lot. Just follow what I'm seeing there. And it's just like you've just, when you're a kid learning to do printing and handwriting, your teacher made you practice, practice, practice over and over again. And so if you say you don't have any talent at this, you just, really the truth is you just haven't practiced enough. So it doesn't matter how many books you buy or videos you watch, you gotta get some paper and write it a million billion times until it just becomes second nature to you. If you can't afford a book right now, you could go to richardcrooks.com calligraphy page and scroll down. He has some worksheets that you can use in two downloads. If you use his calligraphy worksheets, please think about sending him a few dollars to thank him for making these available. This next idea was inspired by a blog post called Chalkboard Lettering and Time Lapse Video on Also oh Pretty Blog. Carla Lim mentions that she typed out some words on defont.com to see what they would look like on her chalkboard mural. 
I thought that there was a great idea for a way to add variety to the headings and titles in my journal. So let's go to defont.com and you can see Carla's idea in action. Let's say you want to make a birthday card. So we're going to come here to defont.com and you can either search for the font that you know you like already or you can just browse through thousands and thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of fonts to choose from. But I'm suggesting instead of previewing the font name, let's preview the text that you want to copy. You can download them and print them out, but we're talking about hand lettering. So uh, let's change the size of that font to large so we can get a good look at these. Now your phrase is written out in each font and you can see what we're looking for here is not only something we like, but something that we can reproduce by hand with just maybe a extra fine Sharpie or a micron pen, something that's doable in hand lettering. We don't want it to look like it was printed on a computer. Uh, the whole idea is to learn to do it by hand. Here are a bunch of fonts. I'm not finding what I want, so I'm gonna try a different heading. This is fancy decorative. So you can see it's kind of mixed up. I mean, you really gotta search through all kinds of categories find something good. Okay, so I like this one, so I'm going to click on it. It's called DK Carte Blanche. I think I could do that by hand. You don't really need to download it, but you may want it for some other projects or for one of the worksheets that I showed you. Just be careful that you click the right download button because all of the ads have really confusing buttons on them that say download. If you click on other fonts, you can also see that some of them give you variations, and I thought this one looked like it could be a good one to do in black, and then then add those little embellished triangles in a white paint pen or a glittery gel pen. Now if you know the name of the font that you want to use, you can type it up here at the top and search for it. I like Simon Script for using a just a black fine liner. I would increase the size here to get a better view and then copy this down to right onto the card if I felt comfortable. Or I li also like to use sticker paper so I don't ruin the card and then stick that down and kind of add a little border around it. Just keep in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect. If you wanted it perfect, you just print it out on the computer. The charm is that it's hand done. I find that if I used a straight edge to do these lines in between, it actually ends up looking worse. It looks strange because the idea is like a hand-drawn effect and then to take a straight edge, somehow it detracts from the overall look, I think. go. Okay, so bring this out here. Anyway, it's kind of a mishmash of um, font styles, but I don't know. It's just my little notebook, so who really cares? Just bought a new lettering book by Lisa Engelbrecht, Modern Calligraphy and Hand Lettering. I'd love to do brush italic lettering. So this will show you. Like, let's do this one. This G is three strokes. One is in deep grape color at stroke one, stroke two is in this turquoise color, and then stroke three is in the dark purple color. So I really like this page right here. I like that thing about this one book, so I wish there was more of it in there. I just got this last week and I haven't read through it all, so that's my quickie review on this modern calligraphy and hand lettering by Liesl Engebrecht. Another one that I really like is this hand lettering Simple Creative Styles for Cards, Scrapbooks, and More by Marcy Donnelly and Deanne Singh. It does have quite a few fonts in here to copy, and it gives you particular features so that if you don't have this in front of you, if you kind of memorize these features of this Draftsman font, if you remember these rules here, then you're going to remember how to make these letters when you don't have them in front of you. It gives you variations, which I like too. This, I think so far, is my favorite lettering book. But more than that, my favorite instruction is Martha Lever's Calligraphon and Introduction to Italic Calligraphy. The best way I've learned hand lettering is by taking a few online courses by my favorite art teacher, Martha Lever. So if you come to marthalever.blogspot.com and click on her, My Online Workshops, and you'll find Calligraphon. Another one that I've taken of hers that was great was Italic Calligraphy. These are both two great classes that I really liked. If these links don't work, if you click on this here, so if you click that, you'll bring you to creativeworkshops.me and come to Shop for Classes. This is how to find her classes in particular. Shop by Class by Artist, and this will bring you to their store. And uh, now we're gonna go to Martha Lever, and here's her courses. Oh. Didn't we just say? 
let's go here, click for Martha Leavers classes. There's a lot of clicking. Here's how I did it. I've started with this Lollapalooza 3, which I loved. There are some, some good examples and instruction on lettering in that, but I took that, which led me to want to do her calligraphy class. I took that, which made me want to take her italic calligraphy class. So she has this one here. If you take this first, it's this price. If you take it and you've already taken calligraphy, you can get this one at $10 off, or you can just buy it right out from the start in this bundle here. Okay, so those are fantastic. Click on that and you'll see a bunch of details of what this is about. Examples. There's a video here you can watch. These courses are great. You can watch them on your regular computer or a mobile device. For me, this was a breakthrough in being able to do some really nice looking hand lettering quickly. You can see here a couple examples of some practice sheets that I did while I was still taking the course. My first impression was that these classes were really expensive and I didn't want to spend the money. So I went shopping around and I found a few classes on cloth, paper, scissors, and I took a few classes including this artful lettering workshop and that was only about ten dollars this video course was about an hour long and while it was really good and i learned a lot it was mostly about materials tools and surfaces and i still didn't learn how to do hand lettering in a particular font which is why i eventually broke down came back to creative workshops and took martha lever's calligraphy courses and i was able to really start producing some lettering projects that i was really excited about so I know it kind of sounds like I'm trying to sell you on Martha Lever's classes, but all I'm doing is telling you what really worked for me. Martha Lever's classes, they're all video courses, of course, and Calligraph Fun is, I think it's about two hours of instruction broken down into half an hour segments. And the Italic Calligraphy, I think, is about five hours of instruction into about half hour segments. So it's a lot of hands-on instruction downloadable worksheets, examples, and exemplars. And she's great about answering questions. So I guess I'm suggesting that you check a few books out of the library, try a few of the worksheet ideas I gave at the beginning of this video, and possibly try an online video workshop. If you have a favorite resource, please share it with us all in the comments.